Hi, it's Lori. Welcome to my channel. In today's quick video, we're going to review how to clean up an image using three great tools here in Photoshop. Let's get started. So to get started cleaning up this image, I'm going to first duplicate the background. You can do duplicate layer. You can also do command or control J. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to double click here and I'm going to call this clean up. All right, so the first ways that I'm going to start cleaning up an image is using the Spot Heal Brush tool, which is right here on the left of my menu. And this is going to help us remove some just standard circles, marks, those spots that get on an image. And you can see it's just going to do a really nice job. I'm going to zoom in. Now this image I told you is very dirty. Um, I was out at the beach and so I'm getting the water stains and all of those things on the image. Now as I'm clicking on this, I, I used this image intentionally. If we had a landscape scene and we were doing these circles, it would work perfect. It would clear up anything that's dust spots or blemishes. But this is an image with movement and lines and so you can see that when I do these circles, if you look close, it's messing up, you can see right here, it's messing up the lines and it's not, it's not giving us the detail that we want. So while that is a great way to um, make corrections and clean up your image, for an image like this, there's an alternative method that I would use and that's using the clone tool. So the clone stamp tool takes pixels from another part of the image and moves them over for you. It's a little tricky to get used to using, but it works really nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over, make our brush a little bit larger, and I'm going to select the Option key, and that's going to give us a target of where Photoshop is going to pull the pixels from. And now I can just come over and let's see, we've got to be on the layer, select the Option key, and now I can just move over. Now, I want my opacity to be at 100%, so I'm going to erase what I just did. I'm going to start over, and now we can just start moving and correcting that. I'm going to really zoom in for you guys. So I always re-click the Option key just so I can be sure. Now, as you move, you want to follow where your target is going. So we want to make sure that we're always looking at where our target is when we're making these corrections. So I click it multiple times because otherwise you're dragging that, error, that correction. You want to just click over it, maybe go over a couple times, and then it's gone. Now if you like, you can also go over it again and you can see we've got this blue line. We can continue that over so it looks really nice and smooth. So this will take a little bit of work to do, but it is the most natural way to really ensure that you're cleaning up an image, especially when it has lines. Otherwise, you can use the clone healing tool when it's just a standard image. Now my third way of doing cleanup on an image like this is actually to use a blur filter. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to increase this until I do not see those spots. And once the spots are gone, pretty much about right there, I don't see any more of the spots in the image, I'm going to click OK. Now, then we're going to add a layer mask going to invert it. So that's Command I. So now we're back to our original image. But now I can get my brush and I'm going to start at about a 50% opacity and I can start erasing some of these blemishes. And we can go over them multiple times until they gently disappear. Now this works on all kinds of images so it doesn't just have to be an abstract image like this one. It's just a great way to gently clean up and remove, especially if you have blemish, blemishes in a sky or maybe um, something where you're softening, something on a subject, but it just really gently mo removes them. And I encourage you to keep it at a low opacity and just go over it multiple times. 
So I hope you're able to see on your screen. Now I'm going to attack this big one here. And you can see how nice and gently, and I can go over it a couple times to clean that up. We just continue to move around the image, cleaning up those blemishes. And keep checking. The other thing that I will do is I like to step away from the image, come back to it, and make sure that I didn't miss any spots before I close out of Photoshop. So a couple different ways to clean up an image. Really easy here in Photoshop. You can do a lot of cleanup in Lightroom, but when you have something tricky, I encourage you to come over here to Photoshop, try these one of these three tools. They're really going to make a difference in your editing of your images and getting that final finished um, professional look in your images. So have fun, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.